What's up, everyone? I'm Mitchell Tierney, and this is MLS Prediction League. Each week on the show, myself, Jeffrey P. Nesker, and Michael Singh from Wake the Red Weekly look at some key MLS matchups and give you our picks. Uh, seeing as this is the international break, we have slimmer pickings this week in terms of the matchups we can pick, but we'll we'll try our best here. Um, I should quickly update everyone on the leaderboard Thank so you all have some background information in terms of uh, whose picks you should actually trust. Michael Singh is 2-0 and after TFC uh, beat Cincy this week, while both Jeff and I suffered from uh, the worst part of predicting soccer games, which is draws. So our picks of uh, Vancouver and the New York Red Bulls did not come through. Jeff is now 0-2. I'm 1-1. One and one. Jeff, you, <laughs> who are you going with this week? Got to keep the flavor going, guys. I'm officially a New York Red Bull Stan betting account, so I am picking them to beat Inter Miami team David Beckham over the weekend. Uh, I think uh, we're going to see a uh, game-breaking performance from Caden Clark, who, of course, is not long for this world as a New York Red Bull. And he's on his way to uh, RB Leipzig, so uh, so look for him to to make an impression. Uh, to put himself in, uh, in in pole position to get some starting minutes at his new club next year. Yeah, those are those are two teams that are fighting to get into the playoffs right now. Both teams are on the outside looking in, and I think whoever loses that game is is going to be probably writing their season off. So that's that's a very a proper six pointer. Proper mm-hmm. six pointer, exactly. Um, for me, I'm gonna you know continue to kind of take the easy way out let's call it and i'm gonna take uh philadelphia union over fc cincinnati um fc cincinnati they they continue to struggle they continue to to really be i guess really on on brand with fc cincinnati and that is right now (laughs) the the, the worst team in major league soccer um Mm -hmm. they won two games in their their last 19 um, so for them to get a win, you know, they were playing at home, but for them to get a win against Philadelphia is going to be certainly top Philadelphia. They're a top four side in, in the Eastern Conference. They're still fighting for that home field spot, at least in the first round. And they're a team that's also, they've won three out of the last four games. They're unbeaten their last four. So two players I, I want to highlight quickly for Philadelphia is, is of course, in goal, Andre Blake. Against a team like Cincinnati, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he comes out and, and records a clean sheet. And then another one, of course, is Sergio Santos, who is probably their most dangerous goal-scoring threat going forward. Um, and if you're a striker, and you, you, these are the type of games that you love circling on your calendar because you tend to reap on them. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Sergio Santos comes out uh, of, of that match with, with a goal or two. So I'm taking Philadelphia Union over FC Cincinnati. And that's saw, why he's 2-0. and oh. Yeah. I was going to say, I saw Mike's pick this week and was immediately all over him for, uh, he's just literally <laughs> trying to keep the streak going. But fair enough. I mean, if, if I was undefeated, I'd be looking for some uh, some easy ones as well. I'm going to go for a, for a bit of a risk here. And that's uh, the Sunday game. I'm going for the Minnesota or Minnesota United over the Colorado Rapids. Um, Colorado obviously been the much better team this year, but this game means everything to Minnesota. They're right on the playoff bubble right now. They're in that seventh spot in the Western Conference. And it's going to be tricky as well because Emmanuel Reynoso, he's out, got red carded last match against FC Dallas. So that's one of their key players that will be missing. But with that being said, Ethan Finley, he's been in really good form of late for the Loon, the Loons. Um, and, you know, international break looms large. Mark Anthony Kay, among others, won't be there for the Colorado Rapids. So, you know, you have to you have to always key in on those things as well in terms of these matchups where Colorado might not have uh, some of their key guys. So I'm taking a crucial Minnesota United victory that puts them back in that playoff hunt. But let's leave the people with a with a bonus pick here. Uh, wait, wait, week. wait, wait! I just gotta I gotta put into sharp relief that you said what looms for the loons. Oh. Say that three times fast. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can't really teach that. Mitch is no, nope, no. Nope. Yeah. Um, quickly, Minnesota is actually the favorite uh, heading into that match against Colorado, which is a little bit of a surprise, but it's good to know. Uh, but go ahead, Nick, with this, uh, Mitch, with this uh, big bonus pick. Well, we give you some poetry, and yeah, we give you a bonus pick as well this week. Uh, we figured since there's only four games, we should give our take on the last one as well. And I think we've all unanimously agreed uh, the Seattle Sounders are, are going to beat the Vancouver Whitecaps, even though the Whitecaps have been in good form lately. I mean, it, it's, it's Seattle. It's the Sounders. So. Yeah, yeah. So if you were to parlay all four of those picks and put five dollars down you would get seventy three dollars and forty two cents back so decent payout uh should they all hit i mean obviously looking at you jeff we we need you to start hitting some, some of these that's a, but... that's a unity kit man that is that is a unity kit 
in whatever size you want, 75% off. You even have some money left for bus fare. So that's 73 bucks. There you go. Yeah. Handy. So uh, hopefully, hopefully these work out for you this week. And uh, that does it for us. Thanks for watching.